On 13, a protest at the state capitol yesterday resulted in the arrest of an 18-year-old. Josephine Mulvihill is charged with assault on a peace officer. State troopers say she was cited and released to parental supervision. WHO 13's Roger Riley has been checking into exactly what went on there. He joins us live from the state capitol. Roger. Yeah, hey, Dan, this protest was actually organized by a Cedar Rapids group called Advo Advocates for Social Justice, according to the Black Liberation Movement. Uh, they called this arrest illegal and unconstitutional. Now, the Des Moines BLM in a news release said that they were protesting several bills. Uh, HF 535 because it hurts protesters' rights, SF 476 because it expands immunity, increases protection for cops, and SF 479 withholds state funds from cities that defund or reallocate uh, police budgets. Now, longtime Des Moines activist Frank Cordero was on hand at the protest. Well, it was a, a real surprise and seems to be a, a provoked action. We were uh, at the end of our demonstration. Uh, we were following all the protocols. There was permission, permission to be there. Now we were loud and uh, uh, we were, uh, you know, uh, boisterous and not often saying, not always saying nice things but we're there to uh, protest racism. Oh, Frank Tiquidero today was joined by supporters of the Black Liberation Movement at a daily protest. He said this is something they do at the Des Moines Police Station five days a week over the noon hour. Today, he said he was still trying to process what happened to the young woman who was arrested at the Capitol. Uh, the young woman, I think maybe, I'm not sure, touched his arm just to say, I'm in this conversation. He turned around immediately cuffed her and arrest her and started dragging her out uh, and then it was a scuffle uh, and there were lots of hard feelings because I mean we're we're there protesting the police and they come in and do this kind of rough job on this young woman well Kadero said he had no uh, inside information on what's next he just wants to support the Des Moines BLM in their cause to work on change in nonviolent ways Dan Roger Riley reporting from the state capitol. Thank you, Roger. Mm -hmm. uh,